Hey, how how big of a fan are you of the Sting song Demolition Man? <laughs> pretty pretty good. I, I have seen this movie more times <laughs> than I can possibly count, and I've completely forgot that there was a fucking Sting song. Yes, he, he did the song Demolition Man for Demolition Man. I unironically love this movie. It's a great movie. I don't, I don't remember. It's a great this, movie. I don't remember if this game is good or bad. I don't know what we're doing with the thumbnail yet. <laughs> like yeah, loading this up because I I. I I got really good at this game as a kid. Yeah. Probably not that good now, but right. Oh god, oh, look at Wesley look at... Snipes' eyes. Or his oh eye. man, look at shit, dude. Look at that forehead. Look at the yeah. contour nice. or the lack thereof on that forehead. This is like this holy is... shit. Is there? uh... Yeah, no. Let's calm. Wait, the <laughs> difficulty levels are calm. calm. Crazed. Crazed. Total, Total demolition. demolition. Let's start on call. Sure, why not? Let's, let's just go. See. Let's go the easiest difficulty. So that's like, oh, this doesn't even use the shoulder buttons. No, why not? Why would okay. it? So I have multiple shoot buttons and right. a grenade button. All right, so shoot, stand, shoot. Wait, what is what is actions? Oh, it's a little tutorial. Oh, it's a little tutorial thing. That's neat. That's a great game. <laughs> Already. All right. All right, let's start. Start it up. Los Angeles, nineteen ninety six. Far off year of nineteen ninety six. This game came out in like 93. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> they were predicting things to go downhill really fast. This could be 1996. Whoa, dude. Uh, you gotta shoot, yeah. you gotta shoot fast. Yes, yeah, so the one thing I, I, I forgot. Can't get up there now. <laughs> the one thing I forgot about as we were uh, taking a look at stuff right here is uh, uh, when you go to like those emulation sites, those like ROM sites, like they'll have. Uh, like, like weird, like anime porn, like ads for them, and like they're, they're not as bad as these. Like we went to one just, just recently, and uh, it was just like a, just you know, like an anime girl in her underwear or something like that. But like years ago, it used to be like there's just full on like hentai little ads no, on there. No, stop! Like, fucking. Oh, Get on that ladder, man. I forgot about the respawning bad guys. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, and so like we, so you, you go there and it would just be like, I want to download DuckTales, and then there'd just be like, <laughs> there'd just be like an ad of like a girl getting fucked in the ass by like a tentacle going. <laughs> And he's be like, ah, <laughs> DuckTales, yay! I really appreciate that news. <laughs> this is a thing full of C4 that explodes. I mean, it's, it's 19... Not, that's not even how fucking C4 works. It's 1996, dude. You really gotta, really gotta get with the time. Uh, oh god, I can't... That's gonna be bad if I shoot that. <laughs> Alright, get that rope. Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, 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 Let's reenact that thing from the beginning of the movie again. Yeah. Alright, so far, this is, this is not bad. It's not bad, doesn't it's look bad. It's not bad. I will say, this seems pretty good. Consider considering this is a Super Nintendo licensed game. Yep. You you got Sylvester Stallone. I almost said Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> you got Sylvester Stallone shooting dudes. That's all you need. That's all you really need. Extra life. You don't you don't need the crazy fucking like what, like the, the, was it the 3DO game or the uh, thing where it was like a weird FMV game that looked like shit. Yeah, that was that was beyond shit. The 3DO game. Yeah. No, I meant to try to jump up the ladder. Oh, they got grenades. It's got a little pixel grenades. Yeah. <laughs> they look like shit. <laughs> right, get up there. Shoot that guy. Good. Thank you. That's what I needed. Oh, yeah. I remember when I first saw stuff like this in a game. Where uh, it was just like, guy... There we go. Guys that would just, like, uh, hide undercover. But, yeah, like, that's mind-blowing! Yeah. And you know, you're, gonna, you're about to die. Yeah, you I'm died. Not. I died. You are no longer the demolition man. There's Wesley Snipes being like, yeah, you gotta get to him, so you're- Oh, oh hey, they- They stay dead. They stay dead. Alright, I'm fine with that. Alright, you gotta get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There you go. You gotta chase after him. Pretty cool sequence Oh here. my god! And they just all great. explode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, it's pretty good. Fucking building close up. That's pretty good. Oh, this is what I remember. Yeah, San Angeles. And it's just it just straight up cuts to the future. Yeah, it's just like and then stuff happened. Fuck it, whatever. You want to you want to keep like oh you get you get uh, John Spartan side ass there. Yeah, nice little, little SNES side ass. <laughs> murder death kill. Murder death kill. Yeah, I like that. These people gives you murder death kills at the end of every level. <laughs> These people saw the movie. Yes. <laughs> but the real question is, do they know how to use the three? Oh yeah, I forgot. There's like little. Put a gun segments like uh, they pull a contra. This, you know what? It's a contra. This, this, is, this is an adequate contra ripoff. Sure. At, at very adequate. All right. Can you? Uh, Triple Eyes did something like this thing too, right? But it, there was there was it was all top down, right? Sure. 
Secret Lives was kind of a mixed bag. Like, the first two stages were really good, and then you just have, like, nothing but, like, copy-paste bullshit for the rest of the game. Yeah. Wow, you're actually, like, taking- you're actually, like, saving dudes here. Yeah. So this is, like, alien- Rescue the- It's like alien syndrome, zombies ain't my neighbors type. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I- I'm remembering why I like this game now. This is actually a, really fast. <laughs> Actually, a competent video game. If this if this game had like the microphone, then it would be like you would actually be able to swear into the microphone to like get <laughs> to get the paper out to so you can wipe your ass. Or so you can either wipe, wipe, you can wipe your ass or just use that for some other thing, like as like a bonus. <coughs> I don't need to save any like fucking health pickups and shit. Ah. Yeah, you're not gonna go back for shit. Well. Oh yeah, every time you save a hostage, it says be well. <laughs> be well done. Yeah, I can't hear because you got the headphones. Yeah, yeah, the headphones. I think this is well established now that not only I can hear the video games. Yeah, whatever. This could be the first video that someone watches of ours. Every video is someone's first. True. <laughs> yeah, there. I kind of just. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of like that they just disappear. They have like a little like falling down like. Ah! <laughs> If I remember right, there's two museum stages. <laughs> okay. Is there a Taco Bell stage? Uh, I don't remember. I don't know if they had the Taco Bell license for the video game or not. Eh. Fun fact, the reason why the Taco Bell logo is different now than it was years ago is because of Demolition Man. Because they, they redesigned the logo for the film, and then they decided they like it. They, 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 they liked just it. liked it. It doesn't look exactly, I mean obviously it doesn't look exactly like how it does now, but like it, that, that's the reason why it's purple. That's, that's, oh. why, that's why the, the bell is purple now. It's because it, it was purple in Demolition Man. They're like, I like that! So, fun fact. Hall of Violence! Aw, oh, come on, let me like pick up a new gun or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they actually give you new guns in the top down stages or not. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't seem to do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I Is it like, it like hit a dude? These are like contact explosives or something. Uh -huh. Oh, you can't pick up that like the little minigun that's down there? No, oh, that's, I don't, I don't try. I have, I have more grenades now. Yeah. Kind of a cock tease. A little bit. A little bit of cock tease. A little bit of cock tease. Pick that thing up, use it. You can't get in there. Oh, it's... I have to save hostages in order to... Oh, okay. In order to open Go the doors. Go there. <laughs> save that guy. I just shot everything except the hostage somehow. Oh, man, you're really... It's like that part of the fifth element. Where, like, he goes in, <laughs> shoots two guys. I can't I can't do the garbage thumbnail for this game because it's actually good. <laughs> Alright, like It's fine, they don't they don't all gotta be garbage. We should finish this. <laughs> because, because I'm like having a, a wave of nostalgia in my mind. Alright. This particular video game. So this won't be a one-off then. We'll do this. This will not be a one-off. We'll do multiple uh, so maybe oh after, my god. Maybe after the stage we'll we'll stop the video and then we'll continue uh, later. Demolition Man was such a weird fucking movie. Like, yeah, like they they, they had or not like based it on Brave New World. Like, yeah, if I remember right. Yeah, it, it, yeah, cause it was it was it was an action movie, but it was it, like I mean, there's there are plenty of action comedies. It was like, a, it was like an there. action satire almost. Yeah, like, kind of like. Well, I mean, you had that a lot in the '90s. Like you had it's true, like it's true. fucking Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers. You had um, like you, there, there are parts of like things like totally like, Total Recall. I mean, I know that it's the '80s, but like RoboCop is was definitely a satire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Paul Ver Paul Verhoeven. Yeah. Does it? Wait, I forget who did. Who fucking did Demolition Man? Uh, let's find out. Yeah, I got that guy through the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get this asshole? Yeah. All right. It's always good to get the guys through walls. Oh yeah, you can shoot the the windows for like health packs and stuff. Damn. Demolition Man, 1993. Well. Alright, this was directed by... Why did they set the, the horrible future part of it in 1996? I don't know. <laughs> that might have just been their way of going like, Yeah, shoot the terrible now, it's gonna get even worse in three years. <laughs> Alright, so this is direct... So Demolition Man was directed by... Marco Brambilla. Who the hell is that? Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, let's see. He directed Wait, seven no. films. Or, oh, no, wait, those are all shorts. Um, no, the wrong way. He directed Demolition Man, Excess Baggage, with Alicia Silverstone and Benicio Del Toro. Uh, and then he directed a bunch of episodes of Dinotopia, which is that, that uh, yeah, that dinosaur show. And he did a bunch of short films and stuff. Okay. He didn't really, yeah. But then, yeah, he didn't really do a whole lot. Ah, crap. I almost blew myself up. All right. 
yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of it. Okay, so the only other weapon you get in the top down stage is the shotgun. Just gives you like a bit of a spread. Yeah. All right, so the writers, let's see here. Well. People came up with the writers, all right, let's see, Peter M. Lenkov. Did I just kill a dude through the wall? Again? I heard... No, I mean with my gun. Like, I threw a grenade over the wall and I killed a dude. Alright, I... I so, the, one of the main writers of the film, Peter M. Lenkov, uh, is... Oh, boss fight. He developed, uh... He basically developed, uh... The, the new Hawaii Five-0 and the new MacGyver. Oh! Uh, and he also... See, he created... Hawaii Five-0 is alright. Yeah. Apparently he was a comic artist. He's like he also wrote like comics, and he's a writer for a bunch of other stuff. Like yeah, it looks like he wrote. Oh shit, that does a lot of damage. And he he yeah he did some stuff in video games. Wow. All right, this is, this is like one of the few fucking like instances where they actually they, could, they put a little effort into it. They actually put a little effort in. They actually have shit from the movie in there. <laughs> who, who the fuck developed this? Is what I want to know. Well, we can find the. Well, yeah, let's, let's take a look. Demo mission man. All right, this is gonna be an entire episode of just like let's just look up things about. This oh game. god, that makes me feel so good, my pants. All right. Like you shoot the neon sign and it explodes. Oh nice. Uh, I was looking down because you asked me a question. Video game. It's like the controls are actually good. All right, here. Let's see here. Yeah, it, yeah, I can't even get it. Yeah, I got, uh, got good reviews for a movie tie-in game. Whoop. Okay, my one gripe with the controls is that, like, sometimes when you try to shoot down, or try to duck and shoot, he just shoots out, shoots down. Oh, God, come on. Come on, John Spartan. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to go to Giant Bomb for this, because uh, Wikipedia doesn't seem to have a lot of information. Go with Demolition Man. Yeah, the Bombpedia. Bombpedia. Demo. Oh, right! You can die from fall damage. I forgot. Well, anyway, I have five lives. Fuck it. Not quite a cat! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Demolition oh, Man. Oh, God. I forgot about, like, the fucking random fumes of, flumes of lava. God damn it. I'm gonna get this done. We're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna get, I'm gonna get you your answer. I'm get your answer. All right, who made this game? There, there we go. There we go. Developers. Shit. Uh, there's a shit ton of them. There's a shit ton. Of them. <laughs> like right. eight eight different developers worked on this or something. There's like three. Hang on. Oh yeah, I got fire grenades now. All right. I just clicked on it and it's not doing anything. It's really having trouble. <laughs> uh, wow, right, so how, how the fuck did that hurt me? All right, this company, uh, Alexandria, uh, they did uh, they, just, they did Izzy's quest for the Olympic rings. Wait, are you shitting me? Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Oh fuck! Oh wait, I'm not dead. Ah! So, yeah, yeah, ah! No! <laughs> Damn! Oh, I almost had him dead. Virgin Interactive Entertainment and Acclaim Entertainment Incorporated. Uh, Alright, so I did, yeah, that's... Just, yeah! <laughs> so I don't know if this version is the version that Alexandria made. <laughs> that that would be a really cool twist of fate. Yeah. Uh, guys, you guys should check out our, our Izzy video. If it's, <laughs> if it's up at the same time as this, as this video. He is cute. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Well, hey, that might be a good... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh! Ah! That's death. Oh, uh, no! And you're dead. Did that really kill me? That fucking Wait, killed you. Fuck? How do I complete the level? Uh, you don't... I think that might be a, uh, a sign to... At this point, we might not play through this entire thing. Ah! Whoop! Fuck. I can do this. You can you can do it. Uh, 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 I could help by not doing anything. Oh, oh hey there! He's like, Wee -hoo! yeah, the, oh, yeah, fuck, yeah. You gotta fucking really watch it. And then what do I do once I jump up there? When he comes back. 
Ah, shit. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in yourself, uh, uh, Tom. You gotta, you gotta really. Yeah, you got it. Oh, then you get shot by that guy. Uh, this is, yeah! Uh, this is like confusing. Yeah, I did it! Confusing to look at. Alright, I say we stop for now. Alright, fine. Alright, let's 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 continue next time. The glass half broken. You did it! I'm proud of you. I think we found a hidden gem. So you, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's out in, it's in plain sight. Hidden in plain sight. <laughs> Movie games. Movie games.